Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this lesson is subtracting rational numbers. So we added rational numbers in the last lesson. Here we're going to subtract, and we work. We do the same thing as subtracting integers. Okay, there's our our common core strand for our awesome teachers, and then our question here is how do we subtract rational numbers? Remember, rational numbers are fractions or forms of like integers, like seven, seven over one, that's a fraction, so it's a rational number. 7.5 is uh, seven and a half, which is 15 halves, which is a rational number. So terminating decimals, repeating decimals, those are all rational numbers. All right, so to subtract rational numbers, we can add the same rules that we when we subtracted integers, okay? So for example, the temperature on an outdoor thermometer on Monday was 5.5 degrees Celsius. The temperature on Thursday was 7.25 degrees less than the temperature on Monday. So what was the temperature on Thursday? Okay, so uh, this textbook likes to use number lines, and it's cool. It kind of uh, explains things uh, visually, so I like to use them too. So subtract to find the temperature on Thursday. So we're going to find 5.5 minus 7.25. Two five, and let's just glance at the number line. See what the the tick marks are going by. They're going by ones. Okay, so when I do 0.5, I got to go halfway in the middle right there. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's see. So uh, so we're going to start at 5.5. So there it is between five and six. Okay, so here's five. Here's six. Here's 5.5 right there, okay? And then we're going to um, now subtract 7.25. Uh, so we're going to move to the left 7.25 because we're subtracting that uh, that positive number, okay, um, because it's less than. So we're going to go 7.25 to the left. Sorry, you can't see my cursor. I'll do it down here. So here's 1 right here, okay? Here's 2, 3, 4. I'm going in the halfway marks. There's 5. There's 6, there's 7, which is at negative 1.5, and then when I go 0.25 more, that's half of a half, so it's going to be right there. So negative 1.75, okay? So, so the result is negative 1.75. Now let's answer that in the context of the question. It says, what was the temperature on Thursday? Always, when you get the answer to these word problems, go back up and what are we asking? Gosh, you can't see my cursor right I know what I'll do. I'll just... Copy, paste that thing, now you can see it. Okay, so what was the temperature on Thursday? So the temperature on Thursday was 1.75 degrees below zero, something like that, okay? Or negative 1.75 degrees Celsius, okay? I like below zero better. I hear that more. Okay, so here we go. So now we're going to do use a number line to find each difference. Okay, let's look at these number lines here, you guys. So, so this number line is going by... Uh, let's see, it starts at negative 4, okay, so each tick mark is a half. There's negative 4.5, negative 5, negative 5.5, negative 6. So we're going to start here at negative 6.5, and since we're subtracting 2, we're going to go 2 to the left. So every uh, tick mark is a half, so every 2 tick marks is 1, so there would be 1, there would be 2. Okay, so it's going to end right there. Okay, let's do that here. So start at six, neg negative 6.5, and when we subtract, it gets us to negative 8.5. Okay, so here we're going to start this guy at 1.5. Okay, so, so these ones are, there's 0, there's 1, so this is a half right there. So this is 1.5. We're going to start here and then subtract 2. Okay, so remember, um, every four of these guys is, um, uh, I'm sorry, every two of these guys is one. So here's one right there. Here's two right there. So it's going to take us to there, negative a half. So start at one and a half, subtract two, takes us to negative a half. Okay, this one here, these ones are going by one. So we're going to start at negative 2.25, okay, which is half of a half. So here's negative 2.5, so negative 2.25, just back up a little bit, it's going to go right there. Then we're going to subtract 5.5, so we're going to go to the left, 5.5. So there's 1, negative 3.25, 2, negative 4.25, 3, negative 5.25, 4, 5. There's 5, which is negative 7.25, we're going to add a half. So that's going to take us to what, negative 7.75 right there? So start right there and go there. So yeah, negative 7.75. Okay. All right, what else? So to subtract negative rational numbers, move in the opposite direction on the number line. So when we subtract negative numbers, then we move in the opposite direction. Okay. So during the, uh, the hottest week of the summer, the water level of the Muscat River was 5, 6 foot below normal. 
So this, uh, uh, so the following week, the level was one third foot below normal. What's the overall change in the water level? Okay, so they love number lines. So we're going to subtract these two numbers to find the difference. Now, which one's the bigger number? Okay, now they're both negative right there. So, so uh, we're going to find um, uh, negative one third minus a negative one six or five six. Now, if you're thinking you should subtract the other way. That's okay, because we find the absolute value, because it says, what's the overall change? The overall change is a positive number. So we could have done negative 5, 6 minus a negative 1 third, um, but this textbook wants to do negative 1 third minus a negative 5, 6. Okay, so we're going to start at negative 1 third. Okay, so, um, so start at negative 1 third. Okay, so let's see. These are going by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1, 6. So here's 1, 6. Here's 2, 6, which is negative 1 third. We're going to start here. Okay? All right. And then, um, and then when, when we subtract a negative number, then we go in the opposite direction. So, and so we're going to add, um, we're going to move 5, 6 to the right because we're subtracting a negative number. Remember, when we add the opposite, it's the same as doing negative 1 third plus a positive 5, 6. So we're going to go 5, 6 to the right. Now, each tick mark is 1, 6. So let's go five of these. So one, six, two, six, three, six, four, six, five, six. That's going to take us right there to a half. Okay. So, um, so the result is a half, which means the water level changed by a half of a foot. Okay. All right. So what do you notice about regarding addition of negative numbers on a number line and subtraction of negative numbers on a number line? Well, when we added negative numbers, we moved to the left. When we subtracted negative numbers, we moved it to the right. So compare the methods we used in examples one and example two. Okay, so here was example one, you guys, okay? So here we subtracted 7.25, so we moved to the left. Here we subtracted a negative 5, 6, so we moved that guy to the right. Okay, so both used a number line. Example one, we moved to the left from the starting point because we subtracted that positive number. And in example two, we moved to the right from the starting point because we subtracted a negative number. Remember, we add the opposites, okay? All right, so here, let's go, let's check the tick marks here. So it looks like a one, two, three, four. So these ones are one fourth or 0.25 in this case. So we're going to start at 0.25, which is right here. And then we're going to subtract a negative, which means we're going to go to the right, one and a half. Okay, so here's 0.25. And then so here's one, and then a half is two more of these, so right there. So it's going to take me to 1.75, okay? So there it is, 1.75. Okay, here, let's check out the tick marks. These are going by four of them makes it one, so two of them makes negative a half. So we'll start here, negative a half, and then minus uh, a negative three-fourths. So since it's a negative and we're minusing, we're going to go to the right. So each one is one-fourth, so here's one-fourth, two-fourth, three-fourths. It's going to take us right there to one-fourth right there, okay? All right, uh, so Joe is diving two and a half feet below sea level. He decides to descend seven and a half more feet. How many feet below sea level is he? Okay, so we're going to use negative numbers because he's below sea level. So we're going to find uh, negative two and a half minus seven and a half. And let's go ahead and use the number line. So we're going to start at negative two and a half. Let's check out these tick marks. So they're going by one. So here's negative two. So here's negative two and a half. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and then we're going to move seven and a half units to the left because we're subtracting a positive number. Okay, so let's go seven and a half units to the left. Okay, whoops, let me get this. So, so here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a half. He's going to be ten feet uh, below sea level. Okay, so, so Joe is ten feet below sea level on that. Okay. Alrighty, so um, you move to the left on a number line to add a negative numbers, uh, and you move in the same direction when you subtract a positive number, okay? So if we are adding negative 2.5 plus negative 7.5, that's the same as doing negative 2.5 minus 7.5. We add the opposites. That's that little note that that's saying. Alright, so compare the difference of negative 3.5 uh, minus 5.8 and negative 3.5 plus a, a negative 5.8. Well, they're both the same. Uh, both equal negative 9.3, okay? Uh, how do we change a subtraction problem into an addition problem? We just add the opposite of that second number right there. Easy enough, okay? So to subtract a number, we add its opposite. 
So we can say P minus Q is the same as P plus opposite Q, or P plus, some kids say negative Q, but it's actually opposite Q. All right, so finding the distance between two numbers. A cave explorer climbed from an elevation of negative 11 meters to an elevation of negative 5 meters. So it looks like he's climbing up. He's, he's uh, getting uh, less to, uh, closer to the top. What vertical uh, distance did the explorer climb? Okay, let's just slide that up. So here's a couple of ways. I'll show you one with a number line and a vertical number line. So we're going to start at negative 11 down there and then, uh, the, and then count the number of units uh, up to negative 5. So here's all the way up to negative 5. Let's count the units, okay? So 1, so these are positive units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So he climbed up uh, 6 on that, okay? So the explorer climbed 6 meters up, okay? Uh, this means that the vertical distance between negative 11 meters and negative 5 meters is 6 meters, easy enough. So the next way to do it is to find the difference between the two elevations and use the absolute values, because distance is always absolute values. So if we did negative 11 minus 5, we get, or minus a minus 5, I'm sorry, we, we, which becomes negative 11 plus 5, which is negative 6. So the absolute value of that is going to be a positive 6 right there. Okay, so distance is always absolute value. The vertical distance is 6 meters, okay? All right, so it doesn't matter which way to subtract values when finding distance, okay? So, well, no, because we take the absolute value, it's always going to get us a positive number. For example, the absolute value of 5 minus 2 is 3. The absolute value is 3, which is 3. The absolute value of 2 minus 5 is the absolute value of negative 3, which is also Three absolute values, I like to call them negative choppers. They take off the negatives. All right, would the same method work if both numbers were positive? What if one of the numbers was positive and one of the numbers was negative? Yes, because we always take the absolute values. When you take the absolute values, you get either the, the number in there or its opposite in there, and the absolute value is always the positive part, okay? So the distance between two values, A and B, on a number line is represented by the absolute value of the difference of A and B. So the distance between A and B is the absolute value of A minus B or the absolute value of B minus A, no matter if they're positive or negative. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care. <laughs>